What is your name? So we're in a floating restaurant right now and it's actually taking off. We're actually going to throw it down the river. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god.
Wednesday the 29th of November. Hello! <laughs> um, I'm just walking to the cafe that's near the school um, where sometimes I go for my free periods because I've got two free periods in a row and I'm gonna get some work done uh, for my test or qualification and so I'm like in week four right now at the school and I'm just like reflecting on how I found it at the start and definitely there was like a culture shock and it was like very different to UK schools. We've kind of been told about the differences and everything and what to expect, but until you're here and until you're fully teaching, like for five days a week, you don't really know what to expect, you know? But I really got used to it. I love the kids. I'm really sad that we're leaving soon. And I've like made, built some really cute, really good connections and relationships with the kids. Um, so yeah, overall it's been great. I have got used to the humidity which is great and our school day starts at about half nine every day and we get home about half four every day and um, it's about half an hour drive from where we're living to the school and uh, lessons are just less than an hour and uh, we're changing up the themes and the topics for each lesson and me and my partner that I'm um, teaching with we've ma managed to make it really fun we brought like a good vibe to the lessons and we're just having fun with it and like often when you're playing games with the kids and you're teaching them English they're like learning new vocab and they're practicing speaking English without even knowing it and like they're just having a fun time with it as well so te teaching has been great I've still got over two weeks left um, so I'm just gonna enjoy it just gonna try to live in the moment with it and um, just really interact with the kids and just enjoy spending the last few weeks with them so yeah and some classes we have like up to three times a week and basically we teach kindergarten all the way to grade six so with the topics we've just we just have to kind of make them age appropriate you know play suitable games and like involve like a good amount of vocab that the age of the kids can understand and stuff so you know it keeps it interesting and we only have blackboards um, and worksheets if we want them for lessons so it's been great with like we've really just got used to planning a lesson around games, around writing on the blackboard and that kind of thing without having to rely on technology and stuff. So it's been really good in that sense. You know, we've had to be creative with it and I feel like it makes the lessons more interactive as well. So, yeah. Uh, yay, very good. I like it. <laughs> In my all-time favorite cafe in Nakonsawan, studying here for one of the last few times. It might sound a bit cringe, but one of my favorite things about like living in a country for a short period of time. Um, is just like getting into a little routine and you know becoming feeling like a local for a little bit so like this cafe um, we've like chatted to the owners a lot and it's just a really nice place to come and study and the drinks are 10 out of 10 toffee nut latte is our go-to me and my friends and um, come on my own as well sometimes like today but yeah this is just one of the things um, it just helps you feel a little bit at home and it's just really nice getting into a short routine whilst you're living in a place and it's just fun so yeah this is one thing i'm gonna definitely miss about here <laughs>